friends, welcome to Delectable Flavors. Today I'm going to share a recipe with you which is called grilled vegetable sandwich. So what we need for this, uh, we do need uh, uh, baby uh, spinach leaves. If you, if you want, you can use it organic ones or you can use the regular ones. You need a one finely chopped uh, tomato. You need uh, bell peppers. I'm using the two colored ones and I'm using the red ones and the orange ones. And you need cucumbers. These need to be finely chopped as well. I do have um, uh, red onions here, but if you don't like the taste of onions or you don't like it all, please um, feel free to uh, take it out of your sandwich. It's all optional. And I do have an avocado, uh, avocado paste over here. So what I did is I took one and a half avocado and I mash it in the, in the bowl in order to make a paste and I do have a cottage cheese here and this is the homemade cottage cheese and I seasoned it with a vegetable uh, seasoning and I used a little bit of salt and a black pepper also in order to season it so now we need four slices of um, bread you can use white bread whole wheat bread whatever the bread you like so what you need to do is in order to make a sandwich I'm going to take the two slices of the plate and I'm going to um, I'm going to take some of the avocado paste and I'm going to spread it on both the slices of bread so I want you to spread it finely so layer should be thin because we need to fit some vegetables in as well. So now, after spreading avocado on both the slices, I'm going to put the toppings on. It's up to you, whichever you wanna put on first, you can. And I'm going to take some tomatoes, take some peppers, some red peppers, some of the cucumbers, And now I'm going to put some of the onions over here and some cottage cheese. And it's entirely optional. If you like, you can um, you can use salt and pepper. You can finally sprinkle a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then we are going to put the second slice over. So now I'm going to show you another one uh, with this slice. Now, if you don't like the taste of avocado or you're not a big fan of avocado, I would say there is an option available where you can use ketchup and you can put it on one slice and then put some on another slice. And after that, you can spread it out on the bread the way we did for the avocado paste. You can use a ketchup instead if you like. And I'm going to use the same toppings again. So based on your choice, if you don't want onions, please, please refrain from onions. And if you like, you know, the green peppers, if you like the yellow peppers, you can add those. And if you like any other vegetables in your sandwiches, you can use those ones. And I'm going to put some cottage cheese now and I'm going to spread them evenly so they can taste good. I'm going to put a few chunks of onions and I'm going to use a couple of spinach leaves over here in order to make it more healthy and get some iron for my body. So I'm going to put this one back on here. Now our last step is I need to put them on, I need to put them in my sandwich grill. So I'm going to turn it on first. And you will see I do have a two lights over here. One is red and one is green. So the moment it's ready to go, you will see the red will switch it to the green. So we're going to wait till then. And in meanwhile, if you want, you can do that. But if you're not going to do it, 
it's going to be the same thing as well but if you want you can take a little bit of oil i do have an olive oil here for here and you can just brush uh oil on the top of uh, your bread slice i do have a non-stick grill so it's not going to stick anyways but you know if you still like it a little bit crispy and it's better to uh put a little bit of uh, oil on it feels like it's heated and i'm just waiting the grill to be heated up okay so now i'm going to put my sandwiches in and this one is with ketchup so i'm going to turn them around for them and because the oil side will go down and if you want to brush off again with the oil on top you can do the same thing like this and i'm going to close them now and we'll wait till this red light turns into a green light okay so now you can see our green light is on it means that they are ready so we are going to open the grill and we will take it out you can see like they are nicely triangle shaped so we're going to transfer them to the plate and this is our tomato um, ketchup one and okay so now our sandwiches are ready so um, I forgot to tell you one thing if you don't like the sides of the breads you can take a slice and chop the sides out and then you can use it and it will not give you this brown kind of thing it's going to be more like of these kind of sides so I'm going to cut in the middle in order to separate them and you can see I'm going to cut from here as well in order to show you what it's going to look like from inside And this is what it looks like from the inside. So you can see vegetables are nicely stacked in and this is how they look like from inside. And I'm going to show you for the ketchup one as well. They really look yummy and they are nicely browned. to cut them on actually on the cutting board because in plate sometimes they are not straight so, so this is what the tomato ones looks like so I'm going to put it over here so you can see so our grilled tomato and avocado sandwiches are ready and I hope you're gonna like it and um, if you like it please uh, like our, our recipe and subscribe to our channel and please stay tuned for every Thursday for a new recipe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.